Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Fudge. And I'm Cody Williams. And I'm your balloon man here today to help show you some cool things. We're going to work together on this, but uh, I'm going to get started with the head of an... What are we making? An ostrich. An ostrich bracelet. Don't be too shy on this. So, <laughs> use it at the head, I'll make the body. I'm going to step off for a few seconds while he starts it off. We're going to finish it together. Because you know what? Balloons always work best together. So, that's right, Mr. Fudge. Fudge. That's right. One is none and two is fun. So let's start with that. So what we're going to be doing with the head of the ostrich, we're going to get uh, two 260s. One, in this case, is a marigold or goldenrod. And then we also have a blush. And then I have a round, white round, slightly, uh, well, very much underinflated. Now, the way I'm going to start with this is I'm actually going to make this easier on myself by making the beak first and working from the beak. So I'm going to make a small bubble and twist. There's another small bubble and twist. These are going to be the side cheeks. And then I make a little bit bigger bubble. And that's going to be your standard, like, bird beak. Excuse me. Get rid of all the excess that we don't need because we're just using a scrap for this one. Uh, in fact, if you want to save that piece for, I don't know, maybe the bracelet part, you can do that as well. That way you're not just wasting balloons and you can use it for multiple things. You're going to tie the nozzle of the blush right into there. And then you're going to pull up your round balloon. Give it a nice little twist. These are going to be the eyes for your ostrich. Wrap that around to hide it. Twist this around, make the top of the head. And then that's going to make the head of our ostrich. And now we're going to have the body made by Mr. Cody <gasps> Williams. All right. Although, I don't have any balloons, so you got to freeze! Get here! All right, what, what, do you, what do you need? Black. Black. Every Mars has their own apron set up differently. So, and then, Caucasian. <laughs> cool. All right, now then. So, again, I always have to things at once. All right. And we don't need the white one quite just yet. Pull that aside for a moment. So we're going to make the body course. So this is going to start with the tail feathers coming toward the front. So we're going to start with an ear twist. And we make the ear twist out of the first bubble. You make your one bubble. You grab the nozzle. Sorry, that nozzle. You grab the knot itself. You have most, uh, most control in the ear twist. Bring it back down in the beginning to simulate the other balloon you would normally have for an ear twist. Lift that off. Pinch and twist. Now you're going to make another one inch bubble followed by an ear twist. And you make about a four to five feet bubble for your wrist. However big you want this to be on the child's hand, a larger kid aka adult, you want a little bit bigger. So make a four to five finger bubble, followed by an ear twist. Another four to five finger bubble, the same size. Connect those, like so. And it should be about all you need for now with this section. You can break it off or leave it for now if you like. Now we're going to need your white section. Attach that towards your middle of your cluster monkey junk. Like so. Make a bubble slightly larger, so let's say 125% large original bubble, so the same length that winds up with the ear twist. So it's going to get a little more of a wing effect out of the light. Attach that to your twist. Do the same thing to this side, make it slightly longer. Attach that in again. Now really small, squeeze the air out. It's a nice soft bubble. Bring it out to the top of the tail. Repeat that step again. To the bottom of the tail. Now since the white one's longer, I'm going to save that for the bracelet section. We don't need the black. Tie that section off. And now, we have most of what we need for the body. I do need a head. Oh, this is where Mr. Fudge will come back. You get to come back in. And there's our head. Now what you're going to do is just take this and tie this in there. And you're going to use the head to wedge the wings apart to get a nicer little view. And you got all of that. Good, good, good. So, and then, this, attach to the beginning to give yourselves. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You got, okay. There we go! Perfect! Ostrich oh. All right, and I'm Mr. Fudge. Cody Williams. Bye! <laughs> you got the remote this time, yeah. man. That was okay. my mistake. Peace out, guys!